If you've had one heart attack, it means you're at a greater risk of another heart event. So if you understand your risk factors, you'll have a better chance of managing them and having a positive recovery. Risk factors can include high blood pressure, high cholesterol or being overweight. Other risk factors can include an unhealthy diet, smoking or not exercising. Ask your doctor about your specific risk factors and then take steps to improve them. Healthy eating and drinking is an important part of looking after your heart. Here's a few tips to start with. So to improve your health and assist your heart, the Heart Foundation has a few key healthy eating messages. So we recommend that you eat a mostly plant-based diet. So that really means including foods like fruit, vegetables, whole grains, nuts, seeds and legumes. We also recommend that you reduce your intake of foods that contain a lot of saturated fat. So that's foods like butter, pastries, cakes, full fat dairy and fatty meats and that you replace these foods with foods that contain the healthier mono and polyunsaturated fats. So these healthier fats are found in foods like nuts, seeds, avocados, healthier oils such as olive oil, canola oil and sunflower oil and also in oily fish. So the Heart Foundation does recommend that you have two to three serves of oily fish every week. It's also really important to reduce your intake of sugary, salty and fatty takeaway meals and snacks and it's best to drink mostly water and avoid the sugary soft drinks. So the Heart Foundation recommends that it is best to reduce your intake of salt. You can do this through a number of ways. You can choose not to add salt at the table or while you're cooking and instead season your foods with herbs and spices. A lot of the salt that Australians are eating is actually hidden in foods that you eat every day. So it's really important to have a look at the labels and choose products that say no added salt, reduced salt or low salt. Yeah, I had a uh, heart attack and uh, a stent was put in and then um, one of my um, goals was to find out more about uh, getting better. And uh, the Heart Foundation website is great for, um, um, for recipes and uh, dietary requirements, um, wealth of knowledge there. So yeah, really helpful. When it comes to alcohol, it's best to only have one or two standard drinks per day and it's also a good idea to try and increase the number of alcohol-free days you have every week. However, there are some medical conditions where you need to have even less alcohol, so it's a good idea to just talk to your doctor about how much alcohol you should be having. It's important to be a healthy body weight because it lowers your risk of more heart problems and developing diabetes. If you carry extra weight around your middle, being apple-shaped, it's a bigger health risk than if you were just overweight. The Heart Foundation recommends men aim for no more than 94 centimetres waist measurement and women 80 centimetres. Losing weight in a healthy way takes time and the best approach is a combination of healthy eating and increased physical activity. See so your doctor or dietitian who can help you develop a healthy weight loss plan. If you have diabetes, the high blood glucose levels can increase your risk of cardiovascular disease. The best way to manage diabetes is to be physically active and maintain a healthy weight. Ask your doctor about screening for diabetes. Even if you already have smoking-related health problems, you can still benefit from quitting. It can reduce the likelihood of a repeat heart attack and the chances of developing other forms of cardiovascular disease. It's never too late. Regular, moderate intensity physical activity is good for you, especially if you have coronary heart disease. It's important that people keep up their physical activity that they started in hospital. And when they get home, um, within a few weeks, they should be back to their usual activities. So it's important to talk to your doctor or your cardiac rehabilitation nurse about when to start different activities and how to pace yourself with your exercise program. It's best to start slowly and build up to 30 minutes of exercise every day. And remember the incidental exercise, like your shopping, your gardening, your housework are all good forms of exercise. If you can walk up two flights of stairs without chest pain or any shortness of breath, you are probably ready to start having sex. So it's really important after heart surgery that you wait until your breastbone's healed, which is about six to eight weeks. And remember that your medications can reduce sex drive. Talk with your doctor before driving again, as you will need your doctor's approval. Here are suggested waiting times before you start driving. Cardiac arrest, at least six months. Cabbage, bypass, at least four weeks. Heart attack, at least two weeks. Cardiac pacemaker, at least two weeks. 
coronary angiogram, stent, at least two days. So returning to work is a very important part of your recovery. Usually it takes a few weeks after leaving the hospital to recover, but it depends on how fast you recover and how physically active your job is. So talk to your doctor or your nurse and they can help best prepare you to return to work. Having normal blood pressure matters because over time, high blood pressure can overload your heart and blood vessels and speed up the artery clogging process. Ask your doctor or nurse to check your blood pressure and ask them what your blood pressure level should be. Cholesterol is a fatty substance produced naturally by your body. There is good and bad cholesterol. Too much bad cholesterol can build up in your blood vessels and can cause health problems. Ask your doctor or nurse about ways to control your cholesterol. After a heart attack or other heart problem, it is normal to feel a range of emotions and these can range from sadness, anger, anxiety, perhaps guilt and loneliness. And these, these feelings can be quite confusing. It is important to look after your mental health as, as well as your physical health. Um, and if these feelings do last longer than two weeks, it is a good idea to talk to your doctor. Depression and heart disease can often occur together. Like any illness, depression though can be treated. Um, Organisations like Beyond Blue are a good place to seek information and they can also provide you with support.